the diabetic retinopathy epidemic is the primary cause of blindness in the US. The sad thing is it's almost entirely preventable if we catch it early. People with early diabetic retinopathy do not have symptoms, but that's the time we need to catch them so we can prevent visual loss and blindness. Digital Diagnostics is a company that creates AI done the right way. We make autonomous AIs for the diagnosis and ultimately treatment of diseases in different parts of the body to lower the cost of healthcare, improve the quality and improve access for patients. From a clinical perspective, we developed IDXDR making sure that it fits the clinical workflow but also the standards of care for diabetic retinopathy. I think the most important thing that we learned over the development of this device is that just an algorithm is not enough. The FDA does not clear an algorithm. So when we started, we thought we were basically almost there, but um, because the FDA looks at the complete system, which includes things like the operator, uh, training materials, um, the setting in which the device is used, um, it was really important for us to work on that entire spectrum uh, of aspects of the device. An annual eye exam should be routine for diabetic patients. Unfortunately, over half of them don't receive the exam due to additional inconveniences and costs. If you place IDXDR at the point of locations that they're already at, they can be screened and diagnosed within minutes. IDXDR is easy enough to use that really any trained staff member could operate it. Afterwards, the results are routed back to the patient's medical record within the EHR. Billing codes are generated as well. The patient can discuss the results with their physician in their appointment. Those with positive results should be referred to an eye care provider, and those with negative should be rescreened in 12 months. Digital Diagnostics works with sites IT teams to implement their ideal automated workflow. My experience with IDXDR has been fantastic. Um, you know, before I started IDXDR, I really struggled with uh, you know, getting documentation for, for retinopathy exams in my diabetics. So I was only had documentation 16% of the time in my diabetics. You know, what I tell my patients is uh, diabetic retinopathy is hard to find early and ophthalmologists or optometrists on average only diagnose at 41% of the time on average when you actually have the disease. And with this technology, with the artificial intelligence reading, it increases the sensitivity at 87%. Very easy to use. It, it only takes another minute of my time to explain the test, you know, why I want to do it. And I, and I tell the patient, you know, I want them to do this in addition to their ophthalmology exam. Because ophthalmologists are screening for glaucoma and cataracts and macular degeneration, things that I can't find. I just want to duplicate it because I may be able to catch it earlier. Looking forward, we're really hoping to move where we're focusing on diabetic retinopathy testing from just purely getting the test done to actually making sure all positive patients get treatment. Right now today, we're, we're really struggling with the basic challenge of making the test accessible to all 30 million patients with diabetes. We hope to automate that so we can shift the focus from the simple testing down to the actual treatment to begin to save people's vision. Where we have implemented IDXDR, we're seeing that in some cases, rather than waiting months for an appointment with an eye care provider, you can now get it the same day, which is usually important to prevent blindness and visible loss. We're seeing lower cost everywhere it's being used. And so we, we're already picking the fruits of autonomous AI today. The fact that we have gone through this process of getting uh, a device cleared, an autonomous AI device cleared by the FDA, all those different things that we've done makes, make, make us a real trailblazer. And part of blazing a trail is that once you have found this path, others will follow. And I think that that is something that I'm very excited by. I, I really feel that in general, the use of autonomous AI for uh, medical applications and diagnosis will be a very good thing for the healthcare system. Thank you.